That's what I'm going to be making. Not necessarily that guy, but that design. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be doing this Samurai Warrior. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is what will become his torso. I'm using just cheap China black. And I'm working on a Bethlehem Bravo that uh, Kate from Bethlehem Torch wanted me to use this so I didn't have to bring a torch. I'm going to do this guy cold, I mean without going to the oven until I do his torso and his legs and his feet and then I'm going to punty one foot, burn off his uh, shoulders and then put him in the oven and then start adding the, the arms and all that sort of stuff. The last thing that goes on will be his sword. I use a lot of marble molds for condensing glass. It's just a real quick way of working it. Is that still good in frame? One of your best tools is just a real small, simple paring knife. So I did the first ones, that will be his front, and then I'm going to go around to the sides. You'll notice when I go into the water to cool off this little paring knife, when I dip it, I knock it off because you can get burned really easy just by dipping this in, coming in, and that drop of water will burn you. So there's a lot of fools out there that won't think about that until you do get burned. Uh, no. So this is the torso of the samurai. Now I'm going to build up what be, will become his butt. And again, I'm just getting 
the gob there that will become his butt. And the easiest way to round that out is to go into a small marble mold and it flattens it, it rounds it, it squishes it in, it saves you a lot of time. And then once you know which is the front of the warrior, you're going to want to come in and make a crack that's deeper on the front than the back just so you have a perspective as to where you're going. And this guy's going to be forward leaning with his left foot so his left knee is going to go forward and in that stance that he's standing in is pretty much like a um, uh, uh, yokodachi, which is a, a front stance, and your knee is over your left foot, and then your right leg goes back to the rear to stabilize. So I'm using the backfire of the torch as my oven to keep this guy warm. So this is going to become his left upper thigh. And that crease that I put in there, in the middle, right here, it also prevents this gather from going over the midline and getting into the way of what will become the left upper thigh. Now I'm going to heat that whole area up that the entire left thigh area and then out of the flame I'm going to grab onto what will become the knee and I'm pulling it up and away and I want a line of action that goes from the left hip to the knee that's straight and that sets it up so that you'll have a good anatomical looking position on the way his leg is. Now this leg will go to the rear, or the upper thigh will go to the rear. You know, Mike, every video that I ever shot of my own work was best viewed over my left shoulder from the way I work because my right hand gets in the way of a lot of stuff over there. Yeah. I think everybody's still asleep. Yeah, I 
like this overall angle. But yeah, I prefer that over the shoulder swimming view. But Now I'm going to make a diagonal flat area on the back of the back leg. This is the old Glastronics purple, or purple blue. I'm using it for the accent parts. There's a, a sheath that goes over the groin and over the butt of the warrior. And it is generally a piece of ceramic that's wrapped in leather that hangs down as a protection against anything coming at you bad. And so that's what I'm gonna use this for. They use, yeah, well, they're using ceramic tiles on uh, all your bulletproof stuff for the, you know, our soldiers. Notice when I'm doing the dots, I'm actually moving my entire torso. Now this will be his left foreleg. And I'm still using the backfire of my torch as the oven to keep the piece warm. I'm just letting it chill before I pull it out. Now I'm going to add more glass to the calf and then heat the whole thing again and then pull it down another time. So I'm going to let that mostly chill and then I'm going to tag on to the bottom and you want to just pull that into a straight line.
So now I'm going to do the second leg. They'll run straight out to the rear. And then there are more um, protection, kind of like a, a big flat panel that goes above each thigh. Uh, again, with ceramic on the inside of it or hard leather. They, they kind of vary place to place. And to let all the good people at, uh, on Torch Talk know, the oven here I'm using, Greg LaFlance brought it in like 20 miles across Las Vegas so I could use it. Makes a huge difference for the way I work. Very good, Greg man. On doing any kind of a human form, you just start on the torso, punty what would become the neck or the shoulders, and then come in and do the butt, and then upper thigh, upper thigh, lower leg, lower leg, foot, foot, and then you know punty or do whatever you're going to do from there. It's the easiest way to come in and you know approach a sculptural piece of a human. Now the legs look a little boring right now because when I put these cross hatches on them then it'll have a lot more design on it and it'll look way better. So now I'm going to start with these little marks. I do one leg and then I go to the other one just so they don't start to fold on you. Now I'm going to flatten a little section, square it off, and then make the panel that goes above each thigh. And you want the panel to go up to the kneecap.
Hey, good music, dude. Thank you. And right now is the time also to heat up the neck area because everything I make will be in proportion to this as a vertical axis. So if I get this ready here, this foot is going to go forward and this one will go down. So I still need to move either the back leg down or the front leg up. So right now the vertical axis has this here. So when I put the feet in, and this is vertical, when I put the punty on one of the foot, if I line this rod up with that one, then everything will be true. You do a ball on the bottom of his leg. You flatten it a little bit and then you bend it back. And then the foot will be pulled out from here. This actually becomes the uh, lower arch of the heel. I'm using a Glass Alchemy uh, uh, Portland Gray for the feet. Just keep going back to that body to build up the heat base.
I'm going to clean it up a little bit where it sits more vertical. And his torso is way bigger than I need now, so I will be removing some of that down. Then I already have punties that are squared off because <clears throat> this piece will mount into here, into that hole. So this guy's going to be like yay. But for this guy to sit where he's flush to there, you need to have your punty already squared off so that when you put this into here, it will be flush and it'll look like he's just standing on it. You want to try and disguise your punty that you're posting with. And I've always posted with a six millimeter rod. And then if you drill a quarter inch hole into the wood, or on some of these I have a marble base, the quarter inch hole will allow a six millimeter post go into it perfectly. and it allows you to have a tiny bit of a wiggle and then you put silicone on the post i'm actually going to take this off and do another one that didn't go clean Try line this one and that one on the same axis. And again, that marble mold is the fastest thing to clean that up.
And from now on, I don't heat the legs. I can heat the body, but I don't go and heat the legs. I'm going to put a panel on his back that is just for strength. Now I don't heat the legs directly, but when I'm using this in the backfire, I can do that to keep him happy. Now I'm going to have him holding his sword in his, with the, over his left side. So that's going to bring my right elbow forward and my left elbow down and low to the left. That happens a lot. So you just keep heating in the backfire and then you add one component, then you backfire, you had two. So I'm gonna do this all the way to finish both his arms totally. And then I'll probably make his head as one component while this is in the oven. How you doing? Oh, thank oh, I've got water right here. Okay. Now if he's going like this, his left elbow, there's gonna be a line from the right shoulder to the tip of his right elbow, and it's going down in front of him. You, know, you always go in and you put in too much glass for your upper arm and then you take it away. It's way better than trying to add more. Okay, so, so his left arm goes up from the left elbow.
and his right forearm crosses over the body. And it's going to be forward. And then now the guy gets the protection on his uh, biceps muscle area. The Mirage. Mirage. I have the second one they ever made. I demoed on the original one in 1996 or 97 at a glass conference in uh, Albuquerque. And then that night I showed Willie and Wally how to work glass. And then uh, I ordered the first Mirage, which was the second one ever made. It's not and as easy to do a, a nice piece sometimes when you're uh, not a, you don't have the home field advantage. But yeah. And I was on a, a, a National 3A for probably 25 years before the Mirage. The uh, face tone and the hand color that I'm going to be using is uh, Paracino, Roger Paramore color. So you blend your own, is that it? Now what? It's a really good flesh tone. Sorry if I'm asking too many questions. Not a problem right now. Let's see. Over here, under here. Yesterday. This is probably coming up with the, the coolest trick here on doing a human form face. I've taken classes with Lucio Babaco three times and the way I do the face is what I've learned from him. You put the chin 
this chin strut. Okay. I'm actually talking to the camera. And bring it up with you. No, I'm talking to the camera. When I'm talking, we're not having a conversation. I'm, we're cool, but when you're answering me, it's, it's not. <laughs> um, so I've got this strut, and the strut will have the ability so that when I drop a blob of molten glass onto his neck, there's a good section of it that will just automatically flow to become the chin. Because you want to try and have that head gather down and become the chin and not add chin glass. leather tool. <clears throat> that needs to soak for probably five minutes or so. So I'm going to do a couple of little woven pieces just to fill in the time. But it'll be a good little demo. I like it. I'm just leery of that piece wanting to crack around the butt or the legs. What I'm going to do now is called uh, just it's it's really as old school as it gets. This is a uh, piece that I made for Disney about over 40 years ago. And it starts off with a running stitch base and then a loop stitch trim on the running stitch base. And what you're doing is pretty much doing hopscotch. I'm feeding the glass in with my right hand and I'm moving this in a circle what I'm adding the glass to with my left hand. And this is where I started with glass like in 1973, 74. This is called loop stitch, just a trim. And this is just a, a coal seal bird.
It doesn't get cheesier than that. Then I'm going to go back to the samurai now. This is a piece of 20-year-old indigo luster. It's real high. Um, actually, uh, Thomas and Jody said they're going to bring back some of the old colors, including indigo luster. Uh, they use the same formula. It's the most silver-bearing color I've ever seen on any rod. It's pretty awesome. But I'm going to use it for the side panel. There's, there's two flat, they're not really horns. They're actually a statement, the same way an animal in the woods would puff itself up. But there's a lot of showmanship on how a samurai warrior's costume or his, his uh, armament works. And a lot of it is to be impressive. So the indigo luster, I'm going to heat up a section of it. I'm going to pull the silver out. I'm going to case it and clear, pull it down and out of one chunk do both the side panels. Hey Teddy, can't be like 
like doesn't have blow tubes or funnies or anything over there. Are you aware of this? Chad G just came over and told me that they don't have blow tubes or funnies or anything over there. He's like all stressed because apparently he hasn't even started his demo or something. That's what he said, like just like two minutes ago. Just don't go under the table here, dude. I heard about that stuff in Las Vegas. <laughs> we got a little bolt on me there. Hey, Kathy or Katie, do you have a scoring knife over there? Okay. So I don't have a scoring knife. I need to score this. Okay. I'm going to do it with water. Come on. I'm going to try to. Actually, I think I'm going to change this around a little bit. I'm going to put this first attachment and I'm going to do the left side. I mean, I know the the Samurai Warrior's right side. So when I do the second one, which will be his left, I'll be looking right at it and it will be the easiest way for me to get perspective on it. So I'm going to heat this up and flatten it out. You able to get most of this, Mike? What's that? Are you able to get most of this? Or? Oh, yeah. Cool. I actually think this is my best demo ever. <laughs> They're all the best. You know, I, I've just taught tons of classes, yeah. and every class at the end of the first day, I just look them straight in the eyes and say, You're my best class ever. <laughs> yeah. 
They'll believe anything. Yeah. So now I get to do the. Now I get to make his sword and the sword's going to be out of indigo luster also with a gray handle. So I'm going to pull the indigo luster down and case it. I'm going to case it and get the sword part of it and then I'm going to make the handle and then attach the sword, pull it out from the handle. I'm getting ready to put the sword in the samurai's hand right now. It'll happen in about 30 seconds. We got here at the right time. I do give good demo. 
Andiamo poi, che schizziamo? And not once yet have I started to talk about my brother's burnt to left testicle. Yeah, I, I, was, I was waiting. I've been thinking about it all day. There it comes. Moment of truth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boom, boom, boom. There we go, you're like, there's your moment, kid. What was I doing? Stressed about a sore neck. Awesome.